Round five, we are facing Arkin. Uh, really wide range on Arkin, but in big events, uh, he usually plays Dredge. And if Arkin's not on Dredge, what are they playing? And it's usually some sort of blue deck. I don't think this hand is really good against either, so I think we need to shift this. This hand is a mana off from winning against uh, Dredge. Alright, this is a little ballsy, but we're going to keep this. And it's Dredge. Probably going to name lines I diamond here. Oh, we would have had the turn one. Ooh, this is bad for us. Three copies of Cobalt Therapy. All right, that'll do. Let's just go to game two. Defense grid can come out. Crips in. And then what do we want to bring in? Probably Chain of Vapors. I don't know if Arkin plays a uh, Deafening Silence on the board or not. No, but there are ley lines. Okay, so we probably need the chain of vapors anyway. I'm going to board out one veil of summer. And once again, if you're enjoying the content that you're watching, please consider heading over to the epicstorm.com slash shop and showing your support by buying card singles, merchandise, and much more. We have Mox Opals recently lowered in price, Lion's Eye Diamonds, Ad Nauseums, Veil of Summers, Wishclaw Talismans, and so much more. On the play for game two. Hand doesn't do a whole lot. Much better. So I think we're actually supposed to bottom the... Uh, might be crazy, but I'm considering bottoming the Lion's Eye Diamond here. Because if we go turn one Wishclaw. So I don't know if that's right. I'm just trying to figure out like if we go turn one Wishclaw. That means that next turn we can. Claw for Dark Ritual and just cast Ad Nauseam from our hand. It involves us not getting hit by Cabal Therapy though. Or we can play it safe and put bottom the ad nauseum. 
Yeah, that's probably better. This is better. There's no like uh, risk of our opponent naming the correct card. And what if they have double Cabal Therapy through for like a breakthrough or something? I think that this is just the safest line. Chromox, Lotus Petal, Bloodstained Mire, Tormod's Crypt, Volk, Badlands, Lotus Petal, Red of Flame, Chain of Vapor. We'll stop there. Okay. So we got that one. Going to submit the same uh, 60 for game three. This is a stacked hand. My concern with a hand like this is two things. One, a blind Cabal Therapy naming Lion's Eye Diamond again. Or B, Leyline of the Void. Uh, but I think we can't mulligan this. Kind of just have to hope that Arkin mulligans into Oblivion and uh, we get to do our own thing. Currently on five cards. That said, Dredge mulligans very well with the London mulligan. Even before the, the London mulligan, that deck mulliganed very well. Alright, so no pregame effects. Troll, troll. Come on, Lion's Eye Diamond. Crypt is good. I think I'm just going to pass. I'm going to hold open the veil. Claw's a good draw here. Cast Brainstorm. Hmm. I 
I can't help but wonder if I'm supposed to go get the other Echo out of the board. So here I could fetch for... Uh, fetch for... Bayou, Ritual, Witch Claw, Burning Wish for Claw, or Burning Wish for Echo. And I'm not going to get by you. I'm going to get C. Oh, I just realized our record's wrong. I'll update that right now. We are actually 4-0. Think we'd an islet. That's fine. We're not going to crypt here. The question I'm currently asking myself is if I should ponder before because if I hit like Lion's Eye Diamond here, I think we just win. Dark Ritual may do as well. So this would be three open mana. Come on, Doc. Dang. Just trying to make sure we have enough mana. Yeah, we have exactly enough. And this is the match win, so that actually puts us up 5-0. Uh, two more rounds left. We'll see how it goes. Ideally, we need to win one of them.